he knelt down on one knee, then he hold my hand, and then he say, Marissa, I promise to buy you a big house and a big car and make you very, 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 very happy. Will you marry me? Right person at the wrong time. I met my best friend in 2018 when we were working together. The minute I met him, I was like, wow, this guy is really cool. And we just hung out. And then a couple of months later, I think inevitably I started enjoying his company and realized that, hey, you know, this guy is really solid. And if I want to date someone in the future, I really hope that it's someone like him from the way that he was with his family and how our lives were very similar. My sister and I are actually 12 years apart. His sister and him are 12 years apart. So it was very similar to what I had in my life. And he had a lot of goals and ambition. By the time he was 21, 22, he knew what he wanted. I was someone who knew what I wanted by the time I was 21. So having ambitions and goals that are very similar, seeing life together in the same perspective and us liking to travel, explore the world. It was basically another version of myself, which is why it felt instantly like the right person because I recognized that that's what I wanted in somebody else in a relationship. A couple of months after that revelation of mine, he actually confessed to me. So I said yes to him. We got together for about a year and then things went down the drain and now we're not together anymore. I've met the right person twice in my life and both times they were wrong. So we were 10 years old, we were in the same taekwondo class. Uh, I found him quite cute. So actually I think the kicker kind of came when <laughs> one day after taekwondo class, he knelt down on one knee and he hold my hand and then he said, Marissa, I promise to buy you a big house and a big car and make you very, 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 very happy. Will you marry me? Then I think at that time, right, my mother used to tell me this. She was like, if boys right, say they like you, you, must play hard to get. So I just said, no, that won't wait. We still kept in touch throughout secondary school as well. I think naturally we would have drifted as well when we went to poly and university. So the reason why was because he met someone who he felt very, very serious about and they went on to be together for about seven years. I guess like we never really toggled with the idea that we would ever date again. So until in 2018, I was single and I was at a place where I kind of wanted to just chill and meet new people, I guess. I was swiping Tinder. <laughs> and then I came across this profile that looked vaguely familiar. I was like, eh? And I was like, ha, ah, for fun, let me just swipe right. So I swipe right and then we matched it. And I was like, oh. And then we did start talking lah. I mean like he very cheekily said like, uh, hey, hey, do I know you? You look very familiar. So I just like jokingly like told him that he can call me tonight lah. <laughs> Then anyway, we have each other's number already, so we just started texting. And I think from then, it was more of a platonic thing at first. I felt like it was more of like two old friends that have not seen each other for so long catch up. And I think like that conversation like kind of sparked a lot of good times and memories. Like, I still felt that he was somebody that was very comfortable. So we started dating from there. To be honest, it wasn't the easiest relationship only because of where we were at in our careers. He's an entrepreneur and he works super super long hours because at that point in time, it was still, they're still at the startup phase. Like, that would mean that he spent so much time on work. I was okay with it because I think at that point in time, I was also very very busy at work. But after a while, the relationship did get a bit strained because we were only meeting like maybe once every two to three weeks. I guess like people say like maybe like you should have just tried harder. But I think it was also a bit difficult because I didn't want it to seem like I was imposing if I were to go over to his office because it would mean that he had to drop whatever he was doing or focusing on at that point in time to entertain the fact that I was there. Even though like I never had that expectation, but it was obligation that he felt that like he had to do. And I guess that's where we kind of disagree or that's where we saw things very differently. And that really led to eventually why we decided to split. Lah. But I do feel like throughout the entire period, it was really the right person for me. Till today, I believe that. But I also feel like the timing of how everything happened, it just wasn't working out for us at all. Once I graduated, I went into working at a full-time job and he was still in university. Initially, that wasn't an issue because we had our own lives and we would just meet whenever we could. But I think inevitably that really caused a strain on our relationship because one of us was having a full-time commitment and a different path set for me. And as for some of you may know, I'm actually a cabin crew. So I travel a lot. I was going to meet so many other people in the world. 
But for me, I was very stable and firm about my relationship. But I'm not too sure about his end. So it just kind of eventually strung out, I would say. It's okay if he was the right person because maybe one day I'll meet another right person. I don't know, but maybe we will work again. I don't think there's like a definite answer, but I really think it takes a lot of time and soul searching to realize what you want in life and what you need is two different things. Sometimes it is just really the timing. Perhaps like we were just at a point where his priorities were career and my priorities was definitely still career but I wanted to still balance it with like finding somebody that I wanted to spend my life with and I think for him, unfortunately, towards the end of our relationship, it didn't even cross his mind. I was friends with this guy. We were close hall ho friends so during our hall stay, like we chatted um, every night and then like we would like have heart to heart talks so we were like really there for each other and when you are staying in hall sometimes it gets quite lonely but I think it was his company that no one else has given me that made me feel like he was the one and then subsequently we went into this grey area where like we weren't sure whether like we are friends or not then we started like trying things out uh, we went to like movie dates uh, he would fetch me to meet our friends but we didn't establish like where we were so it wasn't like a clear line it was just like okay you like me I like you okay then okay let's try and see how this goes and then suddenly he just started distancing himself and he replied me really slowly unlike how he usually would like within like a few minutes or like max one hour and yeah i was like what's going on like why i thought like we both like each other then you suddenly like don't text me then you just leave me hanging then i felt like how can you like that and then okay then i went to confront him then he said oh uh, he didn't know how to break it out to me because he didn't want me to be hurt he said that day we went to movie right i still got reminded by my ex like when I was with you in the movie, then I felt so hurt. Okay, maybe deep down I expected him like to tell me that he will be ready, but like I know that he won't be and like he also said that probably not now, which I'm grateful for because it's definitely not right to start a new relationship if you're not ready for a relationship. We met during poly internship. We started off be being friends first and then we became good friends and then that's how we started dating. When we got together, it was a very short break um, after my first relationship. That relationship like uh, left me with a lot of unsolved baggage because like he cheated on me basically. In my new relationship right like a lot of that baggage came out like I was very insecure I was like easily jealous all the time so I felt like he was the right person because he got to know me as a friend and it means a lot to me when someone tries to get to know me he's like the good, the bad, the ugly, everything right and then he still like accepted me for who I was he also like will notice like small small things that I do or I like like for example right because breakfast I like peanut butter toast more than kaya toast and like I, will, I never tell him I think he caught up on that so like got one time I was like hey uh, I go to toilet or something or maybe he offered to buy and then he bought me peanut butter so I was like oh my god you naughty <laughs> yeah so this kind of thing like can make me like wow like really, really made me feel loved long when we first started off like okay the honeymoon stage was quite long it was like hee ha ha and then like we were like all sunshine and butterflies <laughs> but then like when things started getting real like reality hit right because he had a few female friends that he's very close to and um, it was not very uh, common to me so I didn't know how to react I always reacted in like anger I remember there was this one time he went out with one of his good friends and like they took a selfie and then like the selfie like very close and then I was so angry I blew up it in my head I'm like wala you never tell me you take selfie and then the selfie is like so intimate like that like I was doing everything to protect my emotions so that's when I realised that um, I had baggage from my previous relationship that was surfacing in this relationship so like I learned that it's very important to deal with whatever issues you have and whatever baggage you have because like I think it's also unfair that someone new has to deal with what the old person did to you I actually met my ex like uh, while working part time in a hotel and then back then I was 19 and then uh, he was 25 he was a really nice and sweet guy he always like puts his girlfriend before himself when we first know each other in the hotel right all of our colleagues were very like unsupportive of us being like together then they always talk bad about me so he was always the one who like stand up for me and then talk 
like nice thing about me. Like no matter what, like, he will try to put up a very very positive and nice image of me in front of his, of his friends. I think the biggest challenge for our relationship is that our age gap six years and then we kind of have very different thinking in terms of our perspective and our goals like in life. So back then when I was 19, right, I was still studying and all. So like, when you were 19, you wouldn't think of settling down in a relationship, that kind of thing. But then for him, it's like he think very far, like he think about a future, like he wanted like BTO, marriage, that kind of thing. Which a person at 19 and 20 wouldn't even like consider. Like I'm not even financially stable or like emotionally stable in any way. At that point of time, I feel like really pressured by what he say. Because my focus back then was just to like study, graduate and then find a job before like planning for like my future and stuff. Okay, if I were to think about it now, he has everything that what I want in a guy, like my ideal guy is. Like he's very forward looking. Like he's not that, 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 that type of guy, right? He will like go up and Back then people always say like we have a perfect couple, eh? other than me being immature. So I feel like if I were to meet him like now, I'm 21, everything will be perfect. Ay, a bit cursy. <laughs> My answer to this question is always a no eh? Because I feel that everything happens for a reason. So if let's say for example we didn't choose to get together, right, I wouldn't have had such a good year in 2018, 2019. I feel that even though the breakout happened in 2019, right, it was still a great year because I felt that there was so much learning and growth. He has really taught me a lot and the relationship has really taught me a lot about myself as well and it has really taught me a lot about what I actually really need in a life partner. If I were to see things from the perspective now, I think yes because I think I would have communicated like in a better way with him in a relationship because I would learn to like see things from his pers perspective. Everything that he do right is uh, for the sake of me, like planning for the future and everything. And this is something that I wasn't very aware of back then. Honestly, I wouldn't change a thing actually. Because of those events, it brought me to who and what I am now. In fact, right, I, I'm quite grateful for whatever happened. Because I wouldn't be who I am without those things. Because of that, I made it a point to stay single for about a year to really be okay with myself and be okay with whatever that happened to me. But then because of that one year of singleness, right, I felt like I became very stingy with who I give my heart to. So actually I've been single since then until now. <laughs> like I haven't really been in a proper relationship after that one. Even though he was the right one in terms of the way I felt about him, he was still not the right one in the sense that because he was the wrong time. The right one is always the right place and the right time and the right person. I think for me at that time, I focused a lot on the right person portion that I totally neglected the wrong timing. And it was quite evident la, that although there was like a perfect person that I thought I clicked with, like it matters whether I'm ready to be with that person or not. I think it's important to work on yourself and to be a whole person first before getting into a relationship. And that in itself takes a lot of time. Lah. I think I will always believe that you will meet the right person at the wrong time. <laughs> Maybe financially you're not stable, emotionally you're not stable. There's so many factors that can determine the wrong time. So it's possible, especially after this incident where like I thought the person was the best for me but then he told me that he wasn't ready for it. I think all these things you have to take into account like even though like you feel like the person is really the best for you but it's important to make sure that both of you are on the same page before like you take a step further into the the relationship. Thank you for watching this video. If you have similar experiences or stories, leave them in the comment sections down below. And remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye!